Ready to explore the wild and mysterious side of our planet? Nature has blessed us with stunning creatures. But there are also spine-tingling creatures that are not for the faint-hearted. Join us on a journey to unravel the secrets of these fascinating creatures. Glaucus Atlanticus This rare-looking blue species of sea slug looks beautiful and harmless, but actually they are quite deadly. The Glaucus Atlanticus is definitely not a slug to be messed with. They eat venomous prey, mostly poisonous jellyfish and stealing their toxins. They do that by simply storing their prey stinging cells in their bodies to later defense against predators. And if you saw one of them, don't even attempt to touch this creature, as they will deliver a painful sting that is far more potent than the jellyfish they ate. Some people reported feeling nausea, having great pain, or even vomiting after picking one up. There have been reports of Glaucus sightings in areas such as Australia's east coast, South Africa's east and south coasts, European waters and Mozambique. Halitrus Jelly Back to the 7th century, since fireworks have been invented, people usually see only during celebration. But imagine you being able to see them underwater, it's amazing, right? Thankfully, the Halitrus Jelly, also known as the Firework Jellyfish, has made it possible. These jellies typically can be seen around 1,000 meters deep in the Monterey Bay on California coastline during summer. The frilled tentacles of halotrephs are so thin that they nearly seem to be floating next to the jellyfish's body, giving them the appearance of streaking bursts on the outside of a firework. When it is moving food through its body, a striking form is taken, whereby all of its transparent tentacles start to glow with brilliant colors like an exploding immense firework. Red-lipped batfish Brightly red mouths, awkwardly big nose, it's really hard to not recognize this squidward-looking sea creature, red-lipped batfish. If you look at them clearly, they look like squidward but with lipstick on. Some research believe that it helps them attract a mate. Well, we couldn't agree more. They usually can be found at depths from 3 to nearly 80 meters deep in the Pacific Ocean. Some are also spotted underwater about 120 meters deep. Even living at such great depths, the red-lipped batfish is actually a pretty poor swimmer. Their highly modified pectoral fins have grown so big that allow them to walk almost like legs. Don't worry if you ever see one of them, they are completely harmless to human. Vogelkop lafarina Meet the new bird of paradise species, Vogelkop lafarina. The males of this bird species are mostly black, with a blue breastplate cover, while the female is reddish-brown. What distinguishes the male from the female is that they will perform a mating ritual which, we can see somehow look like a dance. It start off the mating display by fans up its folded feathers around his head, underlined by dynamic blue chest feathers, creating a sad face look. He then proceed to dance which you can see it's really like a shuffling, but fast and moving side to side. Back then, before the Cornell Lab of Ornithology discovered the bird's new routine, its feather fans up to an oval instead of a crescent, and was hopping instead of shuffling side to side. Aye aye. Moving on is the weirdest primate you ever gonna see. Face of possum, tooth of rat, ear of bat. Introducing you the aye aye. Aye aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye! Well, is it me only or its name sound just like the opening of SpongeBob theme song? Now let's get to know more about this creature. I, I can tap really fast on trees at a rate up to 8 times per second, using its extremely slender middle finger. While tapping on trees, the big ear is so sensitive that it can help them to identify hollow areas in trees by echoes, where their food larvae is hidden. The middle finger has a ball and socket joint, allowing it to reach deep into small holes and scooping out the larvae. Aye Aye is classified as endangered species, because some natives believe that it's evil and will kill them on sight. What's more funny is that some also believe if an Aye Aye pointing its middle finger at you, you have been marked for death. Hairy Frog If you are scared of frog, wait till you see this slimy creature to get shock even more. It goes the scientific name of Trichoba trachus robustus, also known as the hairy frog or wolverine frog. Yes, it sounds just like the name. 
the male of this creature develop hair-like structures that extend through the body and thighs. These hairs only develop during the frog's breeding season. It helps them to breathe in more oxygen to stay in the water until the eggs is hatched. Apart from its hairy body looks, the frog is also named Wolverine Frog because of its retractable claws, which serve them as a defense mechanism. The claws are actually made by breaking its own bones of the toes and project out through the skins. Later, the damaged skin is regenerated and claws are retract slowly. Pretty looks exactly like Wolverine, right? Pink Fairy Armadillo You might be familiar with Armadillo, where it has a leathery shell and sharp long claws. Now let's meet the Pink Fairy Armadillo, smallest in the Armadillo family. Unlike others Armadillo, its shell is softer and not fully connected to its body, instead attaching with a thin sheet of membrane that runs along the spine. Pink Fairy's shell also act as an armor, but its main function is to regulate temperature. What's giving its shell a rosy hue is actually the blood vessels that can be seen through. Filling the blood can help to lower the temperature and thus increase the rosy pink display. On the contrary, unloading blood can maintain the body heat which displaying a paler shell color. If you are thinking can this cute creature make a good pet, the answer is definitely no. Research shows that 95% of them will die within 8 days if taken away from their natural habitat. This is due to poor adaption of new environment. Sarcastic Fringe Head This creature I'm about to show you might have the funniest name out of all. It's called Sarcastic Fringe Head. Well, the fish is named Sarcastic not because of its ironic looks or behavior, but for its tendency to strike at anything that put its nest at risk. The word is derived from an ancient Greek word Sarcasian, which also means tearing off flesh. At first glance, this fish may look just normal, but wait until they open their mouth. It closely resembles the Demogorgon monster from Netflix series Stranger Things. Fringe head are extremely territorial, they compete among each other to secure a shelter. They only open their mouths when threatened by their own kind. It's literally a face-off competition by throwing their huge mouth together to see whose mouth is bigger. Once the bigger one claim its victory, the smaller one swims off to look for a new shelter. Star-Nosed Mole Just when you think Fringe Head might be the weirdest or most monstrous creature out of all, let me introduce you to a mole that has an octopus attached to its head. Sounds terrifying? Well, it's actually the mole's nose. Star-Nosed Mole the weirdest looking one among its species. Despite its weird face, star-nosed mole is the only mole that live in swamp and marsh. They are very good swimmers too. Now let's talk about the spectacular nose. The star is actually made out of 22 pinkish fleshy tentacles. The star act as its main sensory receptor to understand the surrounding environment. Because of the super sensitive nose, having close to 10 times more nerve endings comparing to human, the mole can identify an object and to determine in less than a quarter second whether is it edible or not. What's more amazing is that they are able to smell underwater by blowing air bubbles at object, then sucking back some of the bubbles to smell the scent and to detect potential prey or predators. That's all for today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.